Hello, welcome to another Binding of Isaac Afterbirth Plus video. Hey Beams here. Yeah. Um, happy Monday to everybody. I guess it'll be Tuesday when you're watching this, but it is the beginning of the week. And what a better way to start off your week than with hopefully another Eden win. Um, let's jump into it. C today, J1FQ7L1W. We are starting off with Mini Mush the Pony. Um, very good movement speed, mostly because of the Pony. Good tier delay, average damage, average everything else. But only two soul hearts, so we definitely got to play pretty careful. But yeah, let's, let's get this run going. Um, got some big news got my very first subscriber. I don't know who you are, because I don't actually know how to use the YouTube's interface at all at this point, but I see you, and yeah, that's big. It means a lot to me. Um, I would probably make these videos even if I had no subscribers, which I've had for these past five videos. I didn't expect to like get a crazy influx right away. I will take Compound Fracture. It's kind of nice. A little bit hard to look at at times, but I also do like the noise it makes. It sounds like rain on your window or something. Um, but yeah, I see you, whoever you are. Um, say hi, comment, I don't know. What, whatever you do on YouTube videos. Either way, I, or don't say anything, you know. I just... You're the first, whoever you are, and there's only one first, and I'm always gonna, you know, really, really thank you and appreciate you even giving me a chance, so... Yeah, that feels really good. It was a nice surprise coming home from work and, and seeing that. It makes me want to, you know, hopefully keep making these videos. That was nice. I didn't even try to get a secret room. The secret room, I wouldn't have even have guessed it was here. But yeah, uh, what do we got to say about this run? It's pretty good start. Having flying right off the bat is like probably one of the best things you could have for a run. I don't, don't really like this room. Sorry, I'm just going to focus and try to get out without getting hurt. Um, but yeah, having flying this early is just like opens up so many opportunities to get items and, you know, avoid, avoid enemies. Also the movement speed gained from it is a huge plus. Um, I guess we're like really, I don't even know what we want. We're, I'm just gonna let, let the run dictate. I'm not even gonna look for anything in particular. It is fun to say like, oh, it'd be cool to have this item or this, but at this point, like, compound fracture could be cool, synergizing with some items, maybe like, I don't know, tech zero. But, you know, open to anything. Give me whatever you got, game. The only thing I will say is give me a health up, please. That would be really nice. Last run was weird. Um, yeah, I don't know. It was... I felt conflicted about having a run that lasted over an hour. Um, obviously, that's a lot, a lot of content to watch. So I'm trying to decide if I'm going to do stuff like that moving forward. I'm going to use a bomb here instead of a key. Um, maybe there's a soul heart or something. So I'm trying to decide if I'm going to want to keep... If I'm going to want to do something like that again because it's just, it's tedious and it takes time and I get that like, people might not want to watch a video that's that long. Maybe they, you, know, you, you see the description and you immediately know like, yeah, he's probably gonna win. But yeah, I don't know, it was cool. It was fun to break the game. Uh, I always have a good time whenever I do. It's cool to figure out ways to break, you know, use what the game gives you to break it. We do get a health up, which is really nice, and a luck up. Uh, I'm like, whatever about the luck up. I am going to check out the curse room, because it'll only cost me a half soul heart, and we're doing pretty good on health. But yeah, let me know if that was annoying, or if you enjoyed that. Uh, but yeah, we kind of got whatever we wanted from the store there with the combination of chaos and restock. And the, and the blank card, just top tier, top tier item that really can open up any run and can hard carry if you get the right, you know, the right card or, or rune.
pretty good first floor. Um, I did get that, that health up, which was nice. Um, not gonna complain about that, which means I will have something to use when we get to deal with the devil on this floor, which we are guaranteed to get, unless I just somehow bomb this run. Having flying super kind of nice in this room. Especially with it being like the a smaller arena with the corners being chopped off. Yeah, he's just being a jerk. No, we're, we're just gonna take our time right here. There we go. Emperor. But yeah, uh, today was super rainy in New York. Um, my, my shoes got super wet on my ride into work, which was no fun. Um, working with wet shoes and socks is like my least favorite thing. I did bring extra socks, but my shoes stayed kind of wet. So <laughs> walking around the office with just socks is always kind of weird. Um, luckily the culture at my, my workplace is very open and people are definitely not going to judge and they appreciate the fact that I do ride a bike, so I'm not feeling like, ooh, this is weird, or anything. Um, it's more just like me, if I had a preference, I would obviously want to be wearing shoes at my job. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It's it's fine. I've always kind of liked having, having shoes on and socks and whatever. My feet are pretty are pretty sensitive, um, you know, not saying that, like, I will never walk around barefoot or anything, but if I had a preference, I will pretty much always choose to have something on my feet, but not when I sleep, because if you're sleeping with socks on, you're doing something wrong, and somebody's probably going to draw on your face if you do, so <laughs> my suggestion would be keep your socks on. <laughs> Whenever you're not sleeping, but whenever you are, take them off. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm talking about. Great start to this run, though. <laughs> oh, what a segue. I know the secret room is not there. It might be to the left of that room. But we will see what else are the options. Also, I didn't talk about it, but we got Mr. Mega. In the item room. Um, I really like Mr. Mega. It's like one of those items that, you know, is it's just a classic. You know, bombs do extra damage. Their explosion radius is bigger. Overall, awesome. And we get small rock. Sweet. I will definitely be taking that. Small rock giving us a tier delay down and a little bit extra damage. At 5.1 damage. On floor two, I am I'm feeling really good. Especially we haven't even gotten our deal with the devil yet. So we'll see how, how it opens up what the game gives us. Yeah, we just kinda wrecked Monstro right there. Binky, even more tiers down. I mean we've almost hit the tier cap and Guppy's airball. We will take it. So whew, super, super good floor. I'm gonna check for the secret room. It could be in two places. It could be here. Yep. Maybe we'll get a nickel out of him. Yeah, we do. <sighs> With 12 cents, do we check out the shop? Yeah. Let's do it. We got a ton of keys. Not a ton, but... Restock again. I'm not gonna take it. Or am I? I don't even have enough money to be able to, to buy it, so I'm not. Just keep on moving. We're doing good. Good pace. Who knows? Maybe I'll make it to boss rush or something. We got an Emperor card. Ooh. Almost took damage there by accident. Yeah. Um, let's get Guppy. I'm going to try to get Guppy this round. means I'll be pretty much opening all curse chests to see if I can get an extra guppy item. We did see nine lives at the end of last run, I I think. I don't really know. It, it's kind of a blur, honestly. Everything was... After you get 45 minutes in, your brain is... You're kind of just piloting. 
I will say I did not do a great job kind of like explaining what I was going for. Or like, uh, no. That's a um, cursed eye. One of the, if, if we get Black Candle in the store or something, I'll take it. Um, but otherwise, Cursed Eye is like almost always a no. But yeah, I didn't. I was not doing a great job of explaining how I was trying to break the game and what types of things I was going for. That was probably a product of me being tired during the run, and also me just still getting used to like commentating. I'm, for the most part, when I play games, I'm just kind of like quietly thinking, and focusing. So it's a it's a it's a different challenge trying to like mentally be active. <laughs> Not man, I mean you're always I'm always mentally active, but you know, consciously talking about what is happening and what I'm thinking while I'm while I'm playing through the game. And Isaac has so, so many elements and things happening, there are so many things to keep track of, you know, what items you have, what you're looking for, the map, you know, the risk and reward for how aggressively you should play, if you, if you should be full clearing, you know, you really don't have the health to afford that, if you don't have the damage to afford that. Um, it's awesome, I mean, I love it, I think it's such a great game. And, you know, it'd be cool if more and more content keeps co coming out, but, I mean, I'm, I'm not one to complain. With somebody who doesn't even know all of the items right now, I mean, what, there's like 600 items or something with Afterbirth Plus. I I, I know most of the originals. I'd say, actually, I probably do know all of the, uh, the, the vanilla, vanilla, excuse me, items. But with uh, Rebirth and after with the Afterbirth Plus, update and some of the other ones I've I've had a harder time keeping, keeping up just because when you put you know 30 40 items in a game at once it's like oh my god some of them look pretty similar and it's just a lot you know add in trinkets pill effects new cards I mean it adds up super quickly not much exciting stuff happening there curse of the maze there is what was shuffling us The most annoying curse, but not the hardest, just the most annoying. Get out of here. I hate those enemies. They might be not my least favorite, but amongst it. I do have a habit of full clearing in most cases. Um, I don't know, it's just how I like to play. I get that it, it makes the run slow and it can be boring, but it really does increase your odds of winning. And because we're going on a winning streak here, I might as well you know, take as many advantages as, as I can. I think I do know where the secret room is, but with the Curse of the Maze, I'm not willing to go all the way back. We're on pretty good pace to try to make it to Boss Rush. Just double Soul Heart payout. One thing I learned from a, a super, super well-known Isaac Runner and Streaker, Sinvicta, is always go into a curse room with a bomb. Um, before I had played, I would—I never thought about it that way. Um, but you do pretty often see those rooms that have the blue fire with a red chest. I always hate that damage. That was really dumb. Oh, twice. So yeah, maybe we do need, need some more damage. But he made a really great point about making sure that you always go into a curse room with at least one bomb. And how do we already find that? This game makes no sense. We're three rooms away from the start, and we find the boss room. Man, I gotta see the rest of this map, but that's just insane. That's that's pretty bizarre. I mean, I think I actually do. I'm just gonna fight the boss now. Like, why not, right? Yeah, 
not, you're not gonna have a good time. I don't even need to use my pony card. Belly button, hold double trinkets. Too bad there are just a bunch of butt trinkets. But yeah, this this floor is weird. Three rooms away. I mean, our starting floor had we were had to go through more rooms to get to the boss. I'm just I'm really surprised. It's weird. It's a strange one, but you know, Isaac does that. The golden bomb here with Mr. Mega is just awesome. If I could actually place it correctly. There we go. There we go. What do we, what do we have? Blank room? I'll use this in the item room. Maybe it's per throw if we don't like our item. I do like our item though. Trick or treat gives us a chance, maxes out our tier rate, and gives us a chance to fire an, a razor blade, which does 400 times damage, I think. And it'll split off with the compound fracture, which I just saw. I didn't know that it, it would do that, but that's really cool. I wonder if then the compound fracture's trick or treat shot is going to do another 400% damage shot or two half. So it'd be those shots are doing then 200%. The split offs. No way for me to know unless I were to get the um, sm the spider mod. Take sack head and we'll reroll. Little baggy. I, I don't like little baggy. I think it's bad. Jumper cables. I'm gonna keep going. Diplopia. Uh, I kind of like having the pony here, so I'm just gonna take tarot cloth. And we'll hold on to our emperor card. And yeah, max out tier, tier delay is sweet. Thanks game. I just gotta see the rest of this floor. I definitely do not need to full clear, but this is weird. These might be my least favorite enemies. If I wanted to, I could try to look for a mini mush. Maybe I'll do that for any of the mushrooms I pass at this point. I see you. Not getting a deal with the devil um, for 66% is kind of a bummer, but two, you know, of this is just guaranteed to get it next floor. I'm gonna do this room. I do have a pony, um, my space bar, ready to go. Um, I'll think about think about using it maybe on the next boss. Oh yeah. As soon as he gets away from the wall, that's my only concern. I'm afraid I'll run run into him. Mega fatty, and I'll just get stuck on the wall, and it'll, it'll damage me right away. There we go. They're doing pretty substantial damage, though. I went into the curse room. I'm not going to check that last room. That seems just excessive. If we really move it, we might still be able to make it to boss rush, but knowing my play style, I, mean, I probably will not force myself to do it. You know, play however you want to play. If clearing every floor makes you feel like you have a better chance of winning, go for it. If you feel like flying through and really only going for, you know, the item room in boss rooms is how you can effectively win, you know, that's that's up to you. I don't think there's any right or wrong way to play this game. Don't 
don't want little... Ooh. The only reason why I might not want cement, rubber cement, is it kind of takes away the compound fract fracture ability. So let's keep going. Yeah. Holy mantle. Easy, easy take. Almost guaranteeing that we're going to win this run. Uh, the fact that it gives you a one hit of in invincibility per room is so, so good. Um, I think I said it in... It might have been my second video that it is the best support item, and I, I'll, st I'll say, stand by that statement. I, I think it is. Yeah, Tony, just thank you, good work. Simple well, we get some more damage. We get Mega Brim, or Mega Satan, whatever Satan's head, and Shade. I don't actually want either, either of these. I think I actually talked about Mega Blast. I do. Of heart. I think it's overrated. I think the damage that it does is really, really nice, but not having full control of your movement is a huge downside. But yeah, we were, we were bound to get a, a greed fight. I feel like the game actually has been super generous. We also got a steam set, which means next shop if we don't get another greed fight. It means that we'll have a have a chance to get some really good items out of the shop. Excuse me, I was holding in a sneeze there, which is why I was pausing. Yeah, these hush flies are super tanky. I didn't even know about these enemies for a while that they could spawn outside of the hush room. I don't know if I like needed to unlock them or what happened, but I remember the first time they showed up, I was like, okay. Yeah, I remember you guys. Looking like we're probably not going to make boss rush. I mean, even if I had bombed through, I mean, maybe if I bombed through, but I don't know if I could kill Mammon. 30 seconds. At least not with this build. But yeah, overall, this is a very, very solid run. I wouldn't say it's like overpowered or anything crazy, but it's just a solid run. Just a solid, super nice run. This is like a bread and butter Isaac run. Except our bread is... What's our bread in this run? <laughs> Compound fracture, our butter is the holy mantle? I don't know. I guess the only thing I would say is a little scary would be that we don't have any way to make soul hearts. But we're not going to get any more red hearts, probably, for the rest of this run. Nice. Man, coupon is kind of interesting. What do we got? Two of spades. Two of okay. spades. Five bombs for three dollars. Yeah. Mystery sack. I'll take you. Or mystery gift. Red candle. I do like the red candle. Some hearts. Ooh. Trinket smelter and mom's box. Do we spawn two? I mean, it's three. We only spawn one. Hmm. I was trying to think if there was like some clever way. No. 
I don't want it. I don't want chaos. Some clever way to really just kind of garbage, garbage shop. Some clever way for me to kind of like smelt a bunch of stuff. Maybe get fish head. That's cool. Oh, uh, we'll take spider mod. Maybe we'll figure out that question I had earlier about if you do if the shots that compound fracture like splits off if they do full or half damage. Yeah, that shop was, <laughs> didn't have anything good. I mean, I was looking for champions, belt, um, black candle, any type of mapping. And the game said, nope, here's pay to play. An item I have, don't know if I've ever used. Card, but thank you, Holy Mantle. Just key in that room, I heard it. You know, we definitely don't need keys at 69, we're very good. Guppy's tail would be nice. Lusty blood. Okay, now there's some incentive to take damage. Um, I'm not gonna do it on purpose, but. Lusty Blood is a very, very good item. It basically gives you more damage. The, the more times you get hit, the higher your damage will be for that entire floor. Oh, no, actually, never mind. That is Bloody Lust. Lusty Blood is you get damage for every enemy that you kill within the room. Making rooms that spawn adds, a bunch of adds, or bosses that spawn a bunch of adds, really, really strong. So you can see our damage went up to 10. I don't know what this could have that I would want. Yeah. But really, really good. Um, it basically makes rooms easier the further along you get. Because every enemy you kill will give you more damage. So really, it just like will kind of snowball on Rooms that have lots and lots of enemies, by the time you're at the end, you are just a powerhouse. Eternal Heart is a no, big no. Yeah, luckily we have um, Holy Mantle there. Yes. Unfortunately, no guppy items. And I'd still want the flying. Book of Belial is nice, but not that nice. I'm gonna hold on to this Emperor card for either the Cathedral or most likely the chest. See, as we turn more and more red, it's just our damage getting higher and higher. Compound Fracture doing work here. I do like Compound Fracture. It is hard to look at just with all like particle effects or like the bones breaking off. But I do, I do think it's really good. Okay, dude. Yeah. Super secret room could be maybe the east of there. I'm just gonna put a bomb in there. I'm gonna check that real quick. Chances are low, but maybe. Do, 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 
do. This is why I kind of wanted some mapping, but just speed up these loom floors. I find the womb, it's interesting because where it is in the game can make it some of the hardest floors. This is really like where you find out if a run is going to make it or break it. Because if you're struggling on the womb, it just, this is where the damage ramps up, where every enemy does a full heart, um, champion or not. So it really is the point where it like pushes the run to be like, hey, am I going to work or do I have all the tools I need? Well, I'm really glad I didn't take damage stupidly right there. I mean, I could take the shovel and just kind of crush through until we get to the chest, but I don't want to do that. Could this boss room be the north of here? Maybe. Looking for like a call space or something. Yeah, double trouble. Oh, or just Mr. Fred. Excuse me. Okay. My goal there is to first get rid of the the smaller ads, even though Holy Light didn't even track onto Mr. Fred at all there. that. Oh, we already have seen it. Okay. Well, there go probably our chances to get Guppy on this run, but I'm, I'm still happy. This is a good run. Back in the day with the uh, Vanilla Isaac, getting Guppy was like, oh my god, you are living the dream. Now with, what, five potential Guppy items, it feels, it feels a little bit less special. I don't even know what hit us there. Ugh. Cards against humanity. But yeah, it feels a little bit less special. I mean, obviously, it's still exciting when it shows up, but it does quite doesn't have it doesn't quite have that like wow factor as it used to. by now, you'll never know. Or at least that's what they say. Oh yeah, we are just destroying right now. Ghost Pepper gives you a chance to shoot a flame here. Super good. basically gives you the chance to shoot like a red candle shot um, again like I don't know what items with tier effects are tethered to the luck stat I wish that the game was more transparent somehow about that it would make getting luck in certain scenarios more more worth it because like there have definitely been times when, you know, the boss item is, you know, the latch key or, you know, some other item that could give you, could give you luck, but I'll pass it up just because I'm like, does luck even help me in this scenario? Because, like, imagining if you get a luck stat that's, you know, 10 or whatever and you just every single shot is a fire shot, like, that would be kind of an awesome way to incentivize having luck runs. 
But I don't know. Maybe I, maybe I just don't know something about that. Yeah, I forgot we had the Zero Cloth, which is why we spawned four hearts there. We get a Hero Font card for later. Secret room was there. Hmm, I'm gonna get rid of the. Yeah. The little prayer booklet or whatever it's called. Bible tract, that's what it is. So we get the whoosh worm or whatever it is. Which gives you just. A crazy shot speed up. Shot speed up basically means that you deal damage faster. Not in like a literal term, but because your bullets or tears reach enemies faster, it means, you know, you're doing damage quicker. I do remember when I first started playing Isaac, I thought that really, really high shot speed was bad. I thought it was really, really hard to control, um, which I know seems counterintuitive, but for some reason my brain was like, yep, nope, can't figure out, can't shoot exactly where they are, I want to lead them a little bit, and as I played more and more, Got better and better at it. But yeah, just remember dying over and over in those early days, you know. Like, if I didn't have high shot speed, I couldn't hit anything. Where is this champion at? There you are. Let's do more. We got a pretty good hit on Mom there with our pony, white pony. Let's see the fire proc in there. Another one. That's pretty much do it. <sighs> we don't get a devil deal at 33%. We kind of got screwed on devil deals this run, but getting Gubby's hairball early was nice just to keep the precedence alive. Oh, oh, oh. Just kidding. There's not a door there. Hello? Anybody home? Wow, that hit me? to go in this room because I would have lost. Actually, no, I could have gone in. I could have gone in. Don't worry. You're just me being careful. Ooh, Joker card? Come on. God, he's uh, Hello. I still... Still keeping the dream alive. We could get Guppy's... Um, we could get Guppy's tail in, in the chest, potentially. Oh, I see that soul heart, or that tinted rock. Can't hide from me. The only tinted rocks I probably will never see are the ones in the whim. They are so difficult to see. You have to, like, actively be looking for those if you want them. We already have Mr. Mega, so... No chance of us getting it as a drop here. Just a ton more bombs to work with. You know, we could use bombs offensively if we wanted to. I'm starting to think about it. Wow, they do a ton of damage.
Cricket's head would have been would have been cool there. It might have been the unsung hero of that other run. open for some red chests, but I will take four gold chests also. I do think if you have, if you have keys, you should absolutely do these, these rooms. If you have the room, if you have the keys to do the four gold chest rooms, I totally think that they will it. The chance of you getting an item is crazy high, and also you almost always get your returns just of the amount of chests. So it's a gamble, I, I understand, but I think it's, it's almost always worth it. We don't get an item here. I was hoping I'd be able to see like, hey, look, exactly, I got an item. Whatever, take some damage. Use our invisibility. Maybe we'll get a library here. That just rerolls the room. I don't even think I would want to reroll this room. It's it's like just so solid. I, there's no point in risking risking this run. I know I didn't work super hard to get it. It kind of this was this was a layup, I'll say, of a run. But you know, still. You know, I earned this run. Anybody else who's played this game understands that that concept. Pretty surprised the super secret room isn't there. But okay, and we take on Isaac. Ooh. Wow, we got like three holy shots on him. That was great. I'm gonna try to use bombs here. I think they'll do more, some more damage than my tears will, but there's gonna be a little bit of a slog through the second half. Not for, not for shooting fire tears, though. And the fire box tears. I don't think I mentioned that. Whatever. Woo! Just looked away for a second, that's why I took that dumb damage. This is kind of going to be the, the ongoing joke, I guess, where I say, wouldn't it be nice to have as a synergy on floor one and it shows up in the chest? Um, okay, cool. Uh, I'm gonna do some floors. I think this is really cool to show off. Normally, I, would, I we can win right now, but let's just finish off with some fun gameplay. I was talking about how Compound Fracture is, like, works really well, or how I think it will synergize really well with Tech Zero, and, you know, we get it, so, you know, enjoy it. But really, yeah, crazy luck that that's been happening in these runs. Um, I wouldn't consider myself like a lucky player. I'm pretty average. And, you know, there's there's a degree of skill, but there's definitely luck involved in this game. 
Oh yeah, I didn't even talk about the other items that we picked up there. We we picked up um, little Chad or little Chub. I think it's actually the item's name. It shoots that little um, attack attack rub, which does some good damage. We also picked up the tears intensifying item. I forget exactly what it's called, but it basically will bring my tear delay down to what two? Let's see if it goes to one. And I learned something really interesting. In between rooms, you can keep like the the speed shot going if during the transition you change the analog. So I'm gonna change it up now and let me stay at two tier delay. Um, I didn't know that. I found that out pretty recently, and I thought that was awesome. I'm forcing it here. I should probably just change direction, but man, two tier delay. So I'm going to switch it down now. Switch it left. Oop, I mistimed it right there. But, yeah, it's a nifty little trick. Um, I'm going to try. Anti-grab. No thank you. Find the boss. Oh, man. <laughs> Poor Finn. Thank you so, so much for watching. I hope that everybody has a great a great Monday um, and beginning of your week. I mean, you'll be watching this on Tuesday, but, but still, I hope that your Monday is good. And yeah, this is a fun run. Thank you so much again, whoever that subscriber is. It really it means a lot. And yeah, thank you so much. Catch you on the next video.